All right, so last time I was out about in the woods, took a little vi video of me finding this stick and uh, pretending like it was like the best, best, you know, like art tool ever or something. I don't know, and I guess I'll, now I'll make like a little video of me using some ink on this bear skull. Because when I went to school, I learned that you couldn't divide by zero, uh, but that's exactly what they've done here. 18 over zero. 18 zeroths. 18 zeroths. It's not going well. I, can't, I don't do brushes. I don't do them. I I need pens. I'm a pen guy. You know, I'm a pen guy. I'm good at saying a lot and not actually saying anything. I feel like. And I like that sometimes, but sometimes it's a little frustrating. Anyways, hoping to go on a bit of a drawing bender here and get these pumped out. I think I need to do 11 of these this month. All right, we're making good progress, guys. Oh, 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 crap. So I finished Dos Mas. Pretty happy with them. So we've got six so far. I need to get some sort of thing that tells how much power is left in batteries because I really just resorted to so, just finished all the doodles. I have the last four lined up here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that the last, was that the first one I showed? I think so. All right, yeah, so people who have those stickers, go put them somewhere you shouldn't. And I'm not saying you should put them somewhere you shouldn't, but I am. I'm just kidding, I'm not saying that, but I am. Not. Even with a nice camera, it is very easy to take bad pictures, but every now and then it's good. To, it, it's very easy to take bad pictures even when you're trying to take good ones, but it's also very easy to accidentally uh, take very good pictures. All right, so my old flowers were not doing too hot. And although I do like the way they look, uh, I don't know, it just doesn't seem right to keep dead flowers sitting around, although people do do that, I guess, when they press flowers and stuff like that, so. I went and got myself some new flowers. I guess they're technically birthday flowers, so happy birthday to someone, if it's your birthday today. They're categorized as premium blooming plants. Um, it was... And... Still, there's even some like on the actual coffee maker. I'm just gonna have to get the pressure washer out. I don't know. So I kind of abandoned the idea of making coffee at that very moment. So then I just went and got a Big Mac instead. <laughs> Et voila, j'ai fini. Oh, I have to sneeze. Some people say envelope, some people say envelope. Anyways, now I'm, I feel like drawing a picture now, so I'm gonna draw a picture now. I don't really wanna draw a picture of anything in particular, so I'm going to draw a picture of nothing in particular with great detail. Boom. It's done, boys and girls. I didn't set out to draw a junk pile, but I've realized I kind of draw junk piles more often than I thought I did. I went and took it to the FedEx print shop and had them uh, scan it for me. And uh, you know, they ran it through their special, sp special scanner, which isn't all that special, it's just larger. Um, so then they put, this, put the file on a flash drive for me and I took it home and touched it up with Photoshop or whatever. I just like having digital files of everything, you know. Hobby Lobby truly is the worst store in the world. Why can't they just get a normal inventory system like everything else? And when you bring something up to the cash register, scan the barcode. But no, they have little 
hide stickers on everything like they're a little corner store instead of a national chain and sometimes they give you a receipt where everything is just marked as art and what are you supposed to do if you want to return it it's just like a poor excuse for a real store and i really would never go there if it wasn't so uh, incredibly close to my house i'm gonna kind of sketch with him the last page of my wolf skin here i'm using I'm gonna st I skip straight to the back page because i know it's probably gonna bleed a little and Moleskin pages are really thin. I recently watched a uh, Ralph Steadman documentary. All right, so I've got this idea. I'm gonna make a video of me drawing with uh, bananas. Mm. Can't tell if it's level or not. How's it looking? Looking pretty good. It don't matter. It don't matter. Oh yeah. When I go and then when I put the final video together for YouTube, I'll like edit it all together real quick like blam, 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 blam. Uh, like some sort of crazy stapling montage. Worst case scenario, I knock over one of these mugs full of ink. It's getting pretty messy. I like it. Having a good time. Using a little chunk of banana here to do some uh, detail touch up with the, with the darkest ink. So you've got to stop eventually. All right, I'm done now, for real. The camera is better than I am, basically, is what I'm saying. Hmm. I had two bananas left over, there's the mugs. And a lot kind of dribbled on the wall. Uh, so there's all the used bits of banana. Uh, those are pretty gross to touch because they're squishy and cold. I did get some ink on the wall and on the door, even way over there. Some more ink over there. Currently doing a little bit of work, working on putting together the next Peter's Line Almanac. As you can see here, I've got InDesign open. And uh, this is how I like lay out the book. All the different little pages and everything. And this is the layout for the last one. And pretty much to keep it simple and keep all the margins the same and everything, I'm just going to go through it. And uh, I'm just going to replace all these pictures with new pictures for the second book. What's the point of this, right? I don't know. I don't know what the point of anything is. Who knows? I'm just putting it all in a book. People can look at it if they want to or not. I would say that my ideal living situation uh, would be somewhere rural or semi-rural. Uh, I just want to live in like a small to medium sized, like a one or two like a two bedroom house. I just want a bedroom and then like one or two other rooms to do art stuff in. That's all I need. And I need a bathroom and I don't really even need a kitchen, but a kitchen comes with most houses. My little house where I can, you know, like not hear neighbors walking upstairs. My whole goal in life is to not worry about, just to get to a place in my life where I don't have to worry about things. You know, I try to not worry about things. So I used to wear contacts. But that's just one other thing you gotta worry about when you're going to bed. You gotta take out your contacts and it's, well, it's like this whole big thing, you know, where you're like, uh, and then you're, if you go places, you know, you're like, do I got, do I have my contacts case? And contacts are just like another thing you gotta worry about. With glasses, it's just like on, off, on, off, you know? It's easy. So I like simplifying, worrying about less stuff. Preferably want to rent it because then if anything went wrong, but then if I bought it, it depends how much money I had. Uh, th throw money at the problem. I like doing that. I do like throwing money at the problem. So I need to make a lot of money. See, uh, okay, so also ideally uh, someone would buy that, you know, that really crappy drawing I made for, that I'm selling for a million dollars. Someone needs to buy that 
I need some like drunk billionaire to find that and just like buy it and I'll send it to him and I'll have a million dollars. So I need that to happen and then I'll go move into a little house and it will be my art shrine. Have a little yard, maybe like half an acre, an acre, four acres. But you know, just be able to dig a hole if I wanted, cut a tree down, yell at stuff. A workshop would be cool, a place to work on things or do messy things, you know, fling paint around and all this other, whatever I can think of, you know, I just need to be able to go out there and do it. I mean, I kind of do it now, you know, I've got paint all over the wall over there or ink, so that's good. I'm not, I don't feel too inhibited even when, you know, uh, I probably should, but uh, we'll see. Painting with food. Now, one thing I just realized about this drawing is that Something to think about.